this is that they're concerned enough about us talking about these matters and all the other related subject matters that uh, your First Amendment rights are in position, but that doesn't mean they're not going to send some kind of attack wave down there to try to discourage the media, and that's what happened. I'm going to go ahead and animate this uh, thing so you can see what the actual thing looks like. This is a video that we, we, we took of the uh, attack wave in and of itself, and what's going to happen when I initiate it here is you'll get to see exactly how this thing works when you see it real time. It's a frequency hopping wave, and you see how it's jumping all over the spectrum. It's going back and forth. These are, are short videos, but uh, this gives you the, the dynamics of what happens with this thing. And these waves are pulsed microwaves, so they're, they're not only just covering one area, they're sweeping back and forth, and they are causing interference to the brain because the brain is basically also a computer that uses synapse firings to, for all your thoughts and body control. I'm going to run this one one more time, and I'm going to show you a, diff a different view of it because I changed the uh, settings on the, uh, on the uh, machine in terms of trying to make further analysis. This one is the, is the most real-time analysis, and that's why the wave looks like it's going e even faster. The next one I'll show you, this machine has different kind of uh, capabilities to make analysis, and so, this is not my computer here, so I'm going to be a little slow on it. Let's close that out. Uh, it is 1.7 gig, almost 2 gigahertz. The numbers that are on the bottom left right here is the band center, this 1.775 gigahertz. Now, in this case, I'm using what's known as a marker, and that's going to be this little blip right here you see. Once I animate it, what the blip does, this is what's known as sig track, so it's going to jump around, even though the actual wave that they fired at us is jumping around, the sig track is going to follow it, and you can see that here, that little V that's on the top. And what that does is it, it will moves with the signal as the signal jumps, and as a consequence, you can see up in the top up here, we're getting a chance to look at the actual power levels. The number that's, that's rotating in the, in the upper right corner says minus 50, 50, 40. It's, what it's doing is, is summating those different power levels that are being fired at. Now, the actual level of this thing, it, this, in terms of its power right now, or uh, when we captured it, it's running about two times the power of an FM radio station. Now, if you think about an FM radio station, normally they're 35, they can be anywhere from 35 million watts to somewhere in the range of 50, 50 megawatts. So for a signal to come up to these levels where you're roughly twice the, your, your ambient FM station means that we're dealing with a fair amount of power coming out of the sky. The, uh, get this thing there, run one, one more time and then we'll move on to the last one. The uh, numbers in the top left is the actual frequency that it's hopping to. It's 1.771, 776. So this is what was being radiated down on all of us from above yesterday.